All right, Richard Del Connor here. Got a poem for you. I uh, just wrote it a few minutes ago. <clears throat> Actually, I got two poems. I wrote the first one, and I kind of said what I wanted to say, but then I realized I kind of didn't. <clears throat> or at least I'd kind of beat it around. I mean, I said what I wanted, but it, maybe not as clearly or succinctly as I'd hoped to. So then I wrote a second poem right after it, a couple of pages, trying to explain the meaning of my meaning. And once again, in my generalization, I'm not totally satisfied I'm conveying these principles to other people. I fear that sometimes when I understand my little metaphors and explanations, ah, maybe other people don't. So I'm going to work on trying to be understandable, comprehensible, so enlightenment is attainable, possible. All right. So this particular poem, Life with Meaning, is kind of inspired by watching a lot of the problems that Jordan Peterson's been having with people and uh, how they've been, like, yelling and screaming like little stupid kids, you know? I mean, bad, really raised kids. <laughs> you know, I mean, bad manners. I'd be, God, one of those videos of me up there yelling and screaming and breaking up an assembly, I'd be embarrassed, man, the rest of my life to have to look at that. Ah. But these people are willing to do that, sacrifice all. I mean, they're, 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 their inner belief of what character, virtue, and morality is is obviously really warped for them to really believe that they're doing a good thing when they're doing a bad thing. So people are definitely very confused nowadays. And uh, although religion created a lot of problems, all the religions, but they've created a lot of problems, sometimes getting people to do, even do bad things, I've been watching the absence of religion in the last 50 years. And unfortunately, i got to say that the lack of religion, even the religions I don't agree with, Somehow I think that, in general, a lot more people were better off with the religions. A few might have been a little worse, but a lot of people were a lot better. And so, I, I got to give religions some credit. But in the absence of religions, it's not coming back. We're not going to get people to believe in God any more than we're going to get them to believe in the, in the lady who builds the gingerbread house for children and eats them. But there is some wisdom in that, too. Okay, but here we go. First poem, Life with Meaning. Okay, so I'm trying to build up to this thing of, of trying to inspire people to look for a real life, a real character in their life. So let's see what I can, let's see if I'm getting there. Life with Meaning. Uh, it's uh, uh, December 29th, by the way, 2018. I'm over here in my office, uh, over here by the Regency Theaters. I park over here and this is where I do my work for the last <laughs> number of years. Okay, here we go, Life with Meaning. I feel a little sorry for almost everyone I know. Their purpose in life doesn't shrink, but it doesn't grow. Because you are a prisoner while I am running free. You make much more money than me in poverty. I'm not selling the lack of money you work to acquire, but all that time you burned is for the money you feed back to the fire. The world you think is free is a shackle you wear called credit. By the time you've traded your body, your reward is given to debt. So you're all, you've only got two days to live your own unique life, but parents <laughs> don't go to a two-day-a-week office when you've got children and a wife. Oh, sneak in your aspirations at nights before you sleep. When you are at your tiredest and weakest, you can pursue your passions, your ambitions, your dreams, your strategies and plans. Whoops, you fell asleep. So there it is for everyone, without a real plan. Only after your chores are done can you be the woman, or be the man, discovering your unique meaning of life as if reopening a bottle or a can. It's wrong. You're wrong. If it's, if it's right, it would have worked by now, which is why my life is, interesting, is an interesting story and a song about pursuing dreams the way and how. How? Because my dreams were invisible to everyone else. Yet, how I lived and chose my teams created heaven from several hells, which is all it takes to make friends. A friendship never breaks unless the compassion ends. Which makes your dreams worthy of respect from those around you. At least your dreams won't get kicked as much if people appreciate what you do. They may not support or encourage. Cheerleading is an art. Today's public education needs to discourage kids not to burp and fart. 
need some manners. I'm serious. Expressing emotional pain in public for immature desires uncontrolled. Children have been raised by movies episodic that had no virtues or moral goals. Because children write the scripts. Daycare babies write the rules. Isolated and raised by waitresses, preventing conflicts through established tools that protect with barbed wire those defenseless children in daycare. Mothers are replaced by the workers they hire to prevent you from getting bruised or messing up your hair. These kids are all raised by slaves who only do it for money. No one really loves how your kids behave, but it's not their job to teach etiquette or how to be funny. The kids were raised in safe spaces where a guard always looms. The children learn security that prison replaces of their homes and their own bedrooms. As we teach today's youth, the truth is someone on your phone. There's no reason to meditate, contemplate, or imagine the truth because the government doesn't want to think alone. You must think of yourself as someone with responsibilities you must fill. Whatever pays the rent and bills will enable you to have time to kill. But your time's already dead. There's a big gaping hole in the side of your head. Your dreams and in uniqueness are the clothes you wear just like all the people you associate with over there. (laughs) So what's your meaning? It's obvious. It's what you say and do. As your mind listens to what you're feeling, your dreams cannot fit through. That little gap, those pieces of time you devote to your dreams or desires, what you seek is all week long a crime. So how can you, how can you be what a dream we dream requires? To be devoted to living all day, immersed in thought or contemplation, instead of giving my best hours away, I fought through my frustration, knowing that I'd done my best. Without the normal excuses, everyone will, everyone else will attest, they had to survive or support their bills to pay for the items for their dreams to kill. But they've learned in daycare that they can be and have whatever they want and desire. So misbelief and false hopes creates adults unaware of what they need to do for success to transpire. All right, last page here. Homeland Security replaces daycare management. The kids knew it was there, invisible somewhere. So their government became the daycare establishment to protect them from bullies or boogeymen over there. I'd like to call them pussies. I'd like to call them wimps and asses. And that's all the millennial men. But the women offer emotional passes that allow everyone to scream, yell, and cry. Emotions have been given an IQ. Women believe that gut feelings are why they think better than rational men do. So where is the meaning of life? Is it really getting married to a lesbian or having a wife. There are more decisions now than ever before. Too bad today's Americans can't choose the right door because they've been taught what's bad is good or what used to be good is bad. All that current good advice being given is driving this new generation mad. If you want to improve, let's go back to the start. Let's unlearn that daycare motto, think with your heart. The meaning of life is to discover your own unique way to discover and appreciate being alive every day. All right. I mean that. I really do. Every day. Live your life. Don't just wait till the weekend or that one hour you get every night. You should find a way to live your life all day. Your job should be part of your life. If you don't think your job is enhancing or doing more than just selling your life, I mean, that's literally a slavery. If you're somewhere you don't want to be, working for someone you don't like, 
That sounds like slavery. That sounds like the definition of slavery. You should be enjoying the people you work with, enjoying the job you do, enjoying your work, feeling a satisfaction. That's not slavery. That should be that's self-satisfaction. That builds your self-esteem. So every day, all day long, you should be living your dream, and everything you do should be part of that dream. <laughs> that's my advice. If you can do that, I think you'll be a lot more successful, or at least a lot more happy.